Hi Perla, I thought it might be easier to answer some of your questions in a video for the week um, week eight, day one uh, homework questions. So I saw about question number one, it says that you got a rate of change um, and we're wondering, oh actually sorry that's on example number one. So here you were looking at the rate of change which absolutely is 50 kilometers per hour and you were wondering why we put the T here. The reason that is is that this is always the independent variable that goes at the end multiplied by the rate of change. So the independent variable, and I'm going to probably make a mess kind of trying to draw with um, arrows here, but if we take the independent variable of t for time, that's what's going to go at the end of our equation multiplied by the ROC. And then our dependent variable, which here was the distance, is the first thing there. So your independent variable is always at the end, so that's my t for time, and the dependent variable is always the um, on the left-hand side of the equal sign, so that's my d for distance. And I know that this is 50 kilometers per hour, but that just tells you what the unit rate is measuring, that it's 50 kilometers per one hour. It doesn't tell you about the units of what that independent variable should be. So you figure out independent or dependent by its location on the graph or in the table. So the independent variable is always on the horizontal of the graph or the left-hand column of a table and it goes at the end. The dependent variable is on the vertical, the up and down of a graph or the right-hand column of a table. So I hope that that um, is a little bit better. Um, they also see that you're asking, um, do I use the answer from the ROC to fill out the variable part in the equation? Or is it the number gap in the rise? And as you see here, I'm using the actual answer from the ROC. So this 50 that I've calculated, it's not just the gap in the rise. And I think that was actually, I sent you a different video and that was actually the, um, <clears throat> the problem that you'd had with those couple questions in the week seven day two, because you had just done the rise, but it's actually the whole ROC. So rise divided by run. So I do 200 divided by four. And then the answer of that, the 50, that's what goes in the equation. Okay. Um, just taking another look through the questions that you asked here on Google Classroom. Um, yes, and the last one for number six. Let me find that. Yeah, the I would use to make my points here for number six. You absolutely can do the one that is there at the 80. And here's another one that's on the T. So that's exactly right. That's the two that I would use to draw my rate triangle. And you can do this above or below. I, I think I did it below on the... So that would be the triangle that I would use. And my, my rise would be here, the up and down line and my run across that way. So that's how I would do the triangle for number six.